Hi, this is John from NYC. Um, today, I'd like to introduce you guys to something you guys already know, but a little different. It's this. This is uh, from Nissan Company, which is a Japanese company. They made a copy of the Korean spicy chicken flavor ramen. Uh, you see it? This is a Korean word. Just means that uh, Korean spicy chicken flavor. But I have tried this already in the past. Um, it has the spice, but it doesn't have the same flavor. So if you guys ever buy this, um, by the way, uh, they sell this in Thailand. Um, the each Korean ramen will cost about forty baht per ramen, and this packet has five uh, ramen in there, which is a little bit smaller than uh, Korean ramen, the spicy chicken flavor. But this one, uh, five packages, smaller packages. In one pack, one pack like this, has five bags in there. There's a smaller package, has five in here. And it's pretty small, but five packages like that for 50 baht, which is about $1.80 approximately dollar eighty in US dollars and I don't have the uh, spicy chicken ramen but average Korean ramen comes in um, pretty much standard size it's, uh, around the board this is regular uh, Korean ramen this is a uh, Japanese copy of the Korean ramen about what two-thirds of the inch size but well, uh, flavors are uh, similar but not 100% I say about 70% about similar so if you are in Thailand or you want to uh, get by with the uh, cheaper food you could buy that uh, so far I've seen it at the 7-eleven on Tesco Lotus macro just about almost any shop that all you could think of they have it and if you're going out for camping you want to carry smaller stuff there you go it's a smaller uh, ramen but it has a uh, somewhat very similar to Korean uh, spicy chicken flavor and also while I'm at it this one uh, this one is also same company, Nissan, Japanese company, but also they copy the Korean ramen flavor. This is the Korean spiced chicken or uh, cheese flavor, which they have that in regular Korean market. But this one, same thing, uh, five pack, smaller packages. And also, our uh, price is the same, 50 baht. So about give or take on uh, dollar 80. And when I taste that, somewhat similar, but when it comes to the uh, cheese flavor in this, it tastes a whole lot cheaper cheese. Or rather say it's like, I don't know. I don't know how, how I should say this, but it's like really, it's kind of cheese, but it's not on uh, taste of cheese. <laughs> Oh man, it's weird, but but um, yet uh, if you want to um, uh, get that one, just add some a uh, couple of slices of American cheese. It actually uh make it taste a whole lot better. So, anyways, uh, they have those kind of things in Thailand. So, uh, if you guys are hurting for money because um the actual actual Korean ramen is uh. It's a bit costly in Thailand, 
so you can uh, get by with the uh, Japanese one, uh, Japanese made uh, Korean flavors. Somewhat similar, it's not 100% same. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Anyways, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy my video. If you like my video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. That'll be great. Anyway, till next time. Bye.